This is the laziest checklist ever. We're going to do some spreadsheet automation here. I sent myself this email that says create a checklist that auto checks a box every hour or every 10 minutes. Hmm. Okay. I sent this myself an email about this video and I'm wondering, can we do this? I haven't even tried to attempt this yet. We're going to do that here in this video. That's basically it. Normally, right? We check these off, but can we get the spreadsheet to do it itself? Let's try. We're going to go up to extensions, app script. It's going to create that project for us and in real time. Let's see how long this might take us. We're going to do first check function that just checks a check. Where are our check boxes? I guess we really need to know which check boxes have been checked. So it's B2. Let's call this variable check boxes to check. We're going to do spreadsheet app dot get active spread, get active spreadsheet. Add those parentheses because autofill doesn't do that. It auto completes the name, but doesn't auto complete the parentheses. Let's get a range because we're lazy. We're just going to hard code this B2 to B9 to B9. But you know what? I forgot to get get sheet by name. I think we just said sheet one. I don't think we've renamed the sheet yet. Now dot get range get values. Okay, we have values now in our checkboxes to check. Now we're going to go through each one and see, we're going to do a for loop here for I equals zero. I is less than checkboxes to check dot length see how many are in there. And we're going to just run this loop through all of them. I plus plus. And now what are we going to do for this loop? We just want to know, I guess we only want to check the first one that's not checked. So if we're going to go and grab this again, if get range, don't know if we want this, if range is going to be row plus two, and then the column is going to be two. We only need one dot is checked. Okay. So this is going to be weird. So basically this is saying, is it checked or not? And if it is checked, we want to just keep going through the loop. If it's not checked else, we want to check it and then be done. So we're going to add a break here. I think, I think we need a break here. We're going to see what happens. So if it's checked, do nothing, just go back through the loop. But if it's not checked, oh wait, I guess we can do an if not. So if not checked, do this. We'll do that instead. We'll put a not. The exclamation point puts a not there. But we want to check it if it's unchecked. Dot check. I think that's it. But it might go through everything. So if it's checked, break. Hmm. How do we break it? Let me think about this for a minute. Well, let's see if we add a break here. If this works, it might check off everything. Let's just try it. We're going to command S save this. It's going to take a minute. The first time we save always takes like a minute. Let's run it. See if we get any errors. We might need to authorize. Yeah. Review of our permissions. Sure. Give me, give me that sweet, sweet automation. All right. Nope. It's only, all right. Let's run it again. It only checked once. There we go. Okay. That's it. That's all we had to do. I thought we had to do something else, but now we want to do this every hour. So what we can do is run this check. Let's go triggers, add trigger. We're going to choose our check one. We're going to do a time driven. We want minutes timer and we want every, wait, is it actually hour timer? Hour timer, hour timer, every hour, save, done. All right. That's the laziest checklist ever. So now we will come back to this. And basically literally that trigger is just going to go over to your editor, go find check, run check and click this every hour. Click. And then we're going to go back and check. Yep. Third one's check. And Every hour, it's going to check. This is the laziest checklist ever. We create a checklist, run this automation, and we're done with our jobs, right? Our checklists are checked. Done. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed that. If you're looking for the spreadsheet itself, go over to bettersheets.co. This tutorial exists on Bettersheets Co. and all members. For just nine bucks a month, you get access to the spreadsheet. And you get access to the spreadsheet and over four tutorials for nine bucks a month. Included with that is a formula generator. So you can generate any formula anytime you have a frustration with Google Sheets and you're like, oh, I wish it could do X, Y, and Z. Go explain it to the formula generator. And nine dollars a month gets you unlimited generation, gets you out of those roadblocks, gets you through those challenges. No more formula frustrations. I hope you go and check out Better Sheets.